Hey guys, today we are going to talk about when is the best time to buy a card that's price has already spiked. So we're going to look at this graph and it's a good card, but is it worth the $27 that it hit? Definitely not because it is in Conspiracy 2 from a set that boxes are selling for $65, $70 a box. And it's incredibly easy to get boxes at that price, even online retail. Retail with no connections, you can get them for around $70 shipped to you. As well as some free stuff, which is always uh, interesting to have. Uh, it's just random crap. Anyway, I want to talk about what if you need this card and the card spikes up and you don't have it. When is the best time to buy the card again? Uh, definitely not in the same day. I typically week, wait a week or two. A week or two, the price should go down to what it normally would be. Um, a lot of times when you talk about good cards, they are good cards, but they aren't worth the $27 in the buy emission. Now the card has gone down in price by half almost. You also have to consider where did the card come from? They come from a standard set that's still being produced? Did it come from a pre-con set that you can buy at Walmart? Where is, you know, where is the supply for this card coming from? And if it's coming from somewhere that is on the reserve list or some, an old, old set that may not be reprinted, although pretty much everything is reprinted nowadays, so except the reserve list, an older set, then you might say, okay, maybe it has more legs at the current price. I typically, my best piece of advice, if you need a card, it has gone up, wait two weeks, do not buy the card until two weeks later. It is very uncommon for a card to go up again after two weeks. I've only seen that on a few cards. Uh, typically the cards just continue to go down and there's a slow trend down. But uh, a when it goes up, the price goes up in a day or in an hour or in two hours. That's the spike that you see. And then you're gonna see a down, down spike. If you see the down spike and it's almost midway, it means the card itself, there's something, the supply of the card is actually a lot higher. So a lot of people showed out the card, but then they were like, okay, we're gonna crack boxes or we are going to uh, find this in our bulk or find this in our trade binder. We're gonna find this card because we know we have it and then they relist it on TCG Player and that drives the price down again. That's initially why you see a huge spike up and you see a huge spike down. Now, there are a lot of magic cards out there, especially in any of the recent sets. I would say RTR and beyond. There's a reason RTR boxes can still be found for $80 a box. That set was printed to oblivion and I mean, we can still draft RTR every single day if we wanted to at our store. Our store has six or seven different cases of it. Overall, when you look at when is the best time to buy a card that's already spiked, in my experience, it's two weeks later, you're not really dreading a re-spike. The re-spike is not probably going to happen. So leave me a comment below if you have the same experience, maybe a different experience or what you, when do you believe? So I'm, so this is a scenario, the card, you, you have your eyes on the card, then sometime it just spiked and you didn't buy the card, you didn't pull the trigger at the lowest price possible. And now it's at a much, much higher price. What do you do? How do you, you still want that card for your EDH deck? Obviously you can trade for it, but you're gonna trade up value. You're, I guess the other question would be, when would you trade for it? It might be a different answer than when you buy it. You still want the card in your deck, but the card is a little too expensive now, or a lot too expensive. How do you acquire that card? Leave me a comment below. Bye guys.